baby. <laughs> Hi, my baby. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did somebody miss mommy? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Come here. Come, let me carry you. What is that? What is that? Why are you giving attitude? <laughs> You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You should know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. What? What's that attitude for? My big boy. I love you, baby. <laughs> Do you want me to sing again? Do you want me to sing again? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You should know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Mwah! I kiss mommy. That's my boy. Yes, sir. Okay, I will forward uh, the proposal to your email. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Okay, bye. Wow. Oh, boy! Hey. <laughs> Jeremy, honestly, your presentation was late. Thank you. Man. Thank you so much. And I'm sure, I'm very sure the board will accept your creative pitch. Well, he just called and asked me to send my proposal to him. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> I told you! I told you! Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. I'm Thank happy you. for you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You know, this calls for celebration. Yes. Absolutely. So, what about we hang out today after work? Nah, 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 nah. You see, um, I need to celebrate with my family. Oh. My wife first, because all these ideas did not just come from me. There you go. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know. You know, the third behind every successful man that is a woman. Yeah. And? My wife always comes first. She was there. Always. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't know if you come between you and your wife. Ah, you, you can't try it. If not, that's going to be a huge blunder. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wow, tear me. I am so excited. I, yeah. I didn't see this coming. I am happy for you, man. Thank you. I'm Thank you so much. Congrats once more. Thank you. Ah, God, that was good. That's good. That's good. I don't even know what to say anymore, uh, but I appreciate the compliment. I'm coming. One minute, babe. Hi, my love. You don't look happy. You didn't accept the proposal. They accepted! <laughs> Our hard work, baby. 85% of that proposal was your idea. Thank you, and I love you. Mm. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you. And I am proud to have such a smart, hardworking, caring husband. The best in the world. And I am more proud to have the most beautiful, sexy, ravishing wife to do forever with. Why did you add smart and hardworking? Oh, come on, baby. You know you're all of that. Mm. Yes. Why did you say it? Okay. Mm. Smart and hardworking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually prepared your favorite food. Mm. All you have to do is shag, 
Come downstairs. And eat? Mm -hmm. My favorite food? Mm -hmm. But honey, you know, I am looking at my favorite food right now and <laughs> all I want to do is to feast on this food before I eat what you have cooked. <laughs> You're not serious. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> my love, I'm serious. Go and shower. Okay, all right, sure. <laughs> okay, honey. Jamie, what was that for? That's my property. Really? I paid in the full. <laughs> People are owing me. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're silly. I will smack it. Hurry I will up. bite it. I will My eat it. Just try. I will do anything. Come in. Good morning, sir. You sent for me. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Detunji. Please sit. Thank you. I want to commend you for your admirable dexterity 
and your immense contribution towards the success and growth of this company. Thank you. Sir, I am only doing my job. You don't have to thank me. You see, you've done well, which is why I want to hand over the running of the affairs of this company to you while I'm away. In my hands? Yes. Um, I'm traveling to Canada by weekend. I have some family issues I need to settle with my wife. And I need to sort it out before things get out of hand. Which is why I'm giving you the company to run. Because I believe you are the only one that can take care of my company in my absence. Um, sir, this is a very huge responsibility. I don't think I'm capable. Mr. Dilton-G, you're more than you think of yourself. I believe in you. And I know you can do it. All you need to do is report to me at the end of every workday. And if there are any questions, feel free to call me and ask me. I'm sorry, sir. With all due respect. Mr. Adetunji, I am not giving you a proposal to rob my company in my absence. As your boss, I am giving you an order. Okay, sir. Good. Every detail you need, I will send to your email. And please, be a good boss. Yeah, I'll do my best. Fine. You may leave. Thank you, sir. Hello? Yeah, my name is Brenda. Oh, really? Sorry, I don't draw anymore. I don't. Yeah, I would advise you actually check on another artist. I don't draw anymore. That's fine, that's fine. It's okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hi, child. My baby. Let's go and... How does he expect me to run the affairs of this company? I, I can't do this. I am already feeling the pressure. Come on, man. Come on, fit. You can do this. As long as you can run your home, you can run a business. It is not the same, Malik. It is not. What if the company goes bankrupt? Just see the company to be yours. Will you ever allow your company to fall? Will you ever allow your company to go bankrupt? Of course I will not. But then what are you saying? It's the same thing. Come on, besides, you will be bagging lots of money at the end of every month. You haven't thought of that? Look, I, I'm just being skeptical about this whole thing. I, I have not been in a position like this before. I know. I understand everything. But believe me, you can do this. Yes. Why are you standing here? <laughs> I'm scared. My, I don't know if I can do this. This is all new to me. Hey, I believe in you. I believe so much in you. Me, you're my husband. You've never shied away from responsibility, so you're not going to start now. You're smart, intelligent, go-getter, and creative. 
I'm not going to let you give in to baseless anxiety. I can do this. Yes, you can, can do this. I can do this. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Yeah. Wait, um, how is Kelvin? Is he sleeping? Mm-hmm. And we need to do the same before he wakes up. Oh, we need to do the same. Mm. Yeah. Is that what you say? Ah! <laughs> 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 Yes, baby. Come eat. It's ready. Oh, I'm running late. I don't have time for breakfast. I have okay. a meeting. Hmm? Baby, sit at least. No, no worry. I'll be fine. Thank you. Uh, are you sure you don't want me to bring lunch for you? No, no, no. I'm fine. Thank you. Love you. You don't even give me a hug. Hi, my baby. Oh, yeah. Did you miss me? Did you miss mommy? Did you miss mommy? Did you miss mommy? Did you see that? Hmm? What do you want to eat? I love you. Hmm? I love you. Do you love me? Are you serious? Bro, this file is not a finish. It's easy to run a company that easy. It's not easy now. Nah, I need to send the details of this files to Mr. Anderson. This is too much for me. I know. I know. Um, don't worry. It's a phase. And it gets used to it very soon. Okay? There are more files. Let me quickly get them. There are more files? Yes. But from these ones? Yes. Oh, how now? How, how am I? How am I? Come on, Jeremy. You are the manager. Right? Whatever, man. I'll be right back. How, how, how am I even going to do this?
scary. <laughs> What do, what do I do? What do I do? Today was so stressful. I know you're so mad at me. Huh? Kelvin is sick. Kelvin is what? He's running temperature. Oh my god, baby. What's wrong with you? Huh? You're not feeling well? That is home. Have you got drugs for him? Yes. Okay, there's nothing to did. worry about. You'll be fine. Hey! Hey! You! Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, look at the boy right here. Look at the boy right here. Look at the boy right here. He's good to be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me get you dinner. Okay, thank I'll you. I'll take so this much. back upstairs. Okay. Who is this big boy? Who is this big boy? Hmm? This daddy's boy right there. 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 Hey, this daddy's boy right there. We gotta play right here. We gotta play right here. We gotta play right here. Hmm? Let's go. Let's go to shower. Hmm? I don't know what's wrong with baby. He, he's running temperature. He's running temperature? Could he sleep throughout the night? Babe, look, you need to calm down. I'm sure he's just exposed to cold. They've given him medication, so he's going to be fine. My love, you don't understand. We need to take this child to the hospital. Honey, baby. I have a meeting at 8. Unless you want to go there by yourself. Are you, are you, are you for real? Are you serious? Baby, this is our child. Are you trying to say your job is more important than our child? No, I am not saying my job is more important. Okay, look, he'll be fine. He's going to be fine. Why are you stressing yourself? Just relax, calm down. I have to go. You're not taking me serious, are you? I am. I love you. Kiss him for me, okay? This condition is very critical. He needs to undergo blood transfusion. Where is your husband? Critical. I don't understand. What are you saying? Madam, your baby's condition is very critical, like I said. Please call your husband. He needs to be here. Why? What do you want? What do you want? I'm here. He's my son. He needs to undergo blood transfusion. That's why he needs to be here. Look, see, I'm here. Take my blood. Take as much as you want. This is, this is not my please. Okay, okay, fine. Um, but first, we need to carry out a blood test. I don't have a problem. Okay, come on. Please, sir.
these past days, the company has made about, sorry, has made about uh, one million naira with no loss. According to the files that I went through, the company made two million naira in months. So as you can see, the numbers have doubled. And I, I want everyone. Why are you not picking? Jeremy, why are you not picking? Your child needs you, your child needs you. I need you. Excuse me. Um, like I was saying, I, I want everyone to put into consideration. Why is this man not answering his call? Why is he not answering his calls? Why are you not picking? Um, the efforts that are coming in from um, our sister com... Mr. Dittuchi, please, do you mind putting your phone on silence? It's distracting the progress of this. I am so sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, like I was saying, um, we all have to put in hands in, in, into this company to, to make it grow. God, please, if it's this one thing you would do for me. Oh, uh, madam. Yes, doctor. I'm sorry to inform you that we ran out of blood group A in our blood bank. So right now, your husband is our only hope. Doctor, you have to help me. You have to help me. I've been calling his number and he's not answering. Doctor, we can get blood from another hospital, right? Money is not the problem. I can drive there and buy the blood, please. You have to help me. Yes, we can get blood from other hospitals, but right now we don't have much time. His condition is deteriorating. He needs to undergo this blood transfusion as soon as possible. So, there's, there's no way you can, you can help me at least. No way. Your husband is just hey! our only hope. God, I'm finished. God, you, doctor, you have to help me. You doctor. To... Yes, nurse. What is it? The baby in ward nine. Yes. The one they brought in this morning. Yes. He's not breathing or responding to taps. Hey, that's my child. That's my child. That's my child. Honestly, that's huge figures the company made. You really put in good work. Thank you so much. If you ask me, they should retain you as the managing director. You're not bad for the role at all. No, 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 no. This is too much for me. Look, I can't wait for Mr. Anderson to get back. For the past few days, I have not had time for my wife and son. I know, I know. You'll be back before you know it. <sighs> Madam, I'm sorry we tried our best. But we lost him. I'm sorry. <gasps> Speaking of wife, who was constantly calling you when the conference was on? That was my wife. I'm sure she's angry right now. Hey, let me, let me call her, yeah? Alright, I'll see you later. Okay, All right, I'll be you. in my office. Alright. Hello? Yes, baby? Yes. What? When temptation comes when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when storm it takes more than love to keep holding together when temptation comes and storms of life appears it takes more than love to keep holding together <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes and storms of life appears, my love, you need to eat something. I'm not hungry. You have not eaten anything since yesterday. I said I'm not hungry. Please. Please. I beg you in the name of whatever you hold there. Allow me to mourn my child in peace. Please. <laughs> he was my son too. And I love him as much as you do. Love? Jeremy, don't you dare talk about love to me. Don't. You don't love anything. All you love is your job. So don't talk to me about love. My love, listen. I called you. Jeremy, I called you several times. You besieged my cause. You did not take any of my calls. Jeremy, you have taken away my joy. I know you called me and I did not answer. I didn't know his, his condition was that critical. I didn't know. That morning I remember telling you, let's take this child to the hospital. You ignored me. You ignored me. Your child, you chose your stupid job over your own blood, Jeremy. I told you, if you had followed me, if you had listened.
listen to me even for a minute. My child will still be here. Jeremy, you have taken the only thing that has ever made me happy. You have snatched my joy. Sorry, and don't dear. you dare touch me. Don't touch. I know I apologize for not bringing him back, but I'm sorry. Okay, please. please. Baby, you need to eat something. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I know apology cannot bring back my child. That's fine. But I would never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me alone! Madra! <laughs> when temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, and storms of life appears It takes more than love To keep holding together
She should forgive you, man. <sighs> she has to. For the past three months, I haven't seen my wife smile. She doesn't talk to me at all. We're just living like flatmates. Malik, I really miss my wife. But I can't go close to her because she still blames me for Kelvin's death. Yes, I neglected them, but what was I supposed to do? The pressure here was too much. If I knew something like this was going to happen, trust me, I wouldn't have accepted to hold the fort for Mr. Anderson. Look, man. What happened wasn't your fault. I mean, she has made her point and it's justified. But she has to forgive you and move on. It's three months already. I'm tired. I am just tired and lonely. Jeremy, I would suggest you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your wife. Try to make her understand it wasn't your fault that you lost your son. How am I supposed to do that when my presence irritates her? She doesn't give me a chance to say anything. Force your way into her. Talk to your wife. You have to do something about this before you lose what you have with her completely. Jeremy, you know your wife more than everyone else. You know how to talk to her. You know how to win her heart. Speak to her. Speak to her spirit, her soul, her heart. You have to do something. I believe she would come around and everything will turn out fine again. Melvin! <laughs> <laughs> <Are you> Boys! <laughs> Melvin! Man, it's been a long time! Oh my goodness! I, I thought 
Canada said you're in Canada. What are you doing here? <laughs> Come on. I just got back last week and I've been looking for every minute to reach out to you. Boy! God, how are you doing, baby? You, you look beautiful. Thank you. You don't look bad. You're... <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you're married? Yes, with a child actually. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> Come on, don't, don't what's me laugh. what's with what? this hole? We, we can catch up sometime. Mm. How will you call me? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. I will. Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> what's with the hole? Hey, come on. I'm a grown man now. I come know. on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, good oh, to see sorry, you. It's been a long time. You. I miss you today. Okay, I'm definitely going to call. Oh, please. Okay, yes, make sure you call. Ah, me. You doubled your shoulder pad. Hey, make like say that. I don't have mm. to do I? You have not changed. Mm -hmm. You have not changed. <laughs> come on, give me a hug. Ah, it's been a while. It's been a long time, Dad. Boy. Happy posthumous birthday, baby. My little angel. I hope you're watching over mommy. I love you. I love you so much. I have always loved you. Keep watching over mommy. I am trying to be strong for you. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. to Calvin was my fault. I shouldn't have neglected you both. I am so sorry. Brenda, I have lost my son and I'm gradually losing my wife. Forgive me. I loved Calvin and you know that. You know that. Love. Love. Do you even know what that word means? Jeremy, do you know what today is? See? Today was supposed to be my son's first birthday and he's not here because of you so don't talk to me about love you don't know what love is when temptation comes when the storm of life appears it takes more than love to keep holding together when temptation comes when the storm of life appears 
years, it takes more than love. Huh? Hello? Who am I on to? It's me, Brenda. Oh, Brenda. How are you? I've been expecting your call. I'm sorry it took long before I called. Uh, are you okay? You don't sound happy. You have not changed. You can still tell when I'm sad. Of course, yes. Hey, hey, what's the problem? What's happened? What's the problem? Okay, you know what? Why don't we talk it out over lunch? Sure. I needed it. Oh, uh, okay. I'll text you the address then. Okay. Bye. Sorry about your son. I must say what happened was tragic and disheartening. It's fine. Thank you so much for today. I really needed that distraction. You're welcome. You know, I will do anything to get you back on your feet again. I will take all your pains away, like I've always done while we were in secondary school. I will. Thank you so much for today. You're welcome. You have a good night. Sleep. Good. <laughs> It seems like a long time. Secondary school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh my god. You know what does not me. Where are you coming from? I'm talking to you. Don't walk out on me. Where have you been? I went out. I went to clear my head. Have I answered your question? Why have you not been answering my calls? Because I don't have the strength to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Are you serious? How long is this going to continue? Huh? Are you not tired? We are husband and wife. We can't be living like strangers. You lost the right to call yourself my husband the very day my son died. What are you trying to say? Huh? I'm tired of the charade we call marriage. I want a divorce. What? Brent. Brenda! Brenda! Hey bro. Hey. What's up? 
Were you able to reach her yesterday? She got home late. Okay, so did she tell you where she went? My wife wants a divorce. What? You know, I've been trying to process the whole thing. Why would she want to throw away what we've built for years for one silly mistake I made? God forgives our sins. Why is she finding it so hard to forgive me? Listen, Jeremy. Honestly, this is getting serious. And you have to do something immediately. If you ask me, I will suggest you take a leave. In fact, you must take a leave and go face your marriage. Please. I want to divorce him. Every time I look at his face, I see my little angel. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm tired. You know, it's... It's okay, I... I understand your heart, so... People will think I'm making a beautiful woman cry. Please. It's okay. Melvin, my life will never be the same again. Hey, hey, don't my say, life can never hey, be the same don't again. Don't say that. Don't say that. Listen. My life has lost its taste. Kendra, don't say that. He Look took me. away my child. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You, you, you know what? I promise you that I will make sure you're fine again. I can never be the same. You, 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 you trust me. I am, I am here for you, Brenda. I am. You'll be fine again, okay? I'll do everything possible to make sure you're fine again. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Whatever thing you're going through, sorry. I'm here for you, okay? Yes. Just like old days. Just like old days. So, can we take our order now? You know, I have been thinking, why don't we do something to distract you from all of this? The last time I remember, you're good with drawing to him. Yeah. I was actually working at the studio. But Jeremy said he wants me to focus on our child, so I stopped. I see. Well, there is this art exhibition program coming up next week. Daisy's art exhibition program. Daisy's. Oh. Yeah, she, she's she's quite popular. I think I know her. Yeah, sure. Well, if you want, I can register you so you can get to show your amazing works to the world. What do you think? 
You will? Sure, why not? <laughs> Just say the word and it's D O N E. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, why are you doing all this? Brenda. I still care about you. I really do. A lot. I'm married. But not for long. You're divorcing him soon, right? <laughs> you should go. It's late. Yeah. I should go home. Thanks for staying. Yeah, you're welcome to see you. Sure. Sure. Drive safe. Yeah, take care of you there. Yeah, you too. Night night. Good night. <laughs> for you. Baby, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I don't want you to leave me for a mistake I committed. You're my life. I cannot live without you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. And this is for you. Happy birthday. Baby. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love. To keep holding together when temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together when temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes and storms of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together.
Oh boy. What are you doing here? I thought you on two weeks leave. It's barely five days. Bro, I'm tired. Leave or no leave, she's still the same. I want to give her what she wants. And space. She said that? Bro, can we stop talking about my marriage? It's getting boring already. I'll talk to you later. What are you doing here? You have not answered my question. What are you doing here? Why have you not been taking my calls? Did I do something wrong? No, I've been busy. See, you have to leave. Are you avoiding me? Are you scared that you... Scared of what? Scared that you may fall in love with me. I, 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 I don't know. Do you know exactly what I'm talking about, Brenda? You do. Look, Brenda. I've always loved you while we're in secondary school. Yeah, no, I hurt you by not telling you before I travel to Canada. I mean, all would get hot. After chasing you for so many years, and when you're about to say yes to me, I left without letting you know, without contacting you. But believe me when I say that not a single day goes by that I did not miss you. I miss you so much, Brenda. So much. Listen, Novi. It's all in the past. I mean, I'm married. If there is any way I'm angry with you, I will tell you. But I've moved on. But I've not moved on, Brenda. I haven't. Well, I thought I had. But when I bumped into you the other day, I just couldn't get you off my head. I love you so much, Brenda. Come on, Melvin. We shouldn't be having this conversation. Please. Give me a chance to make things right. Please, Brenda. I promise I'll make you my priority. I'll always be there for you. I'll never make you cry. I'll always put you first in everything I do. Melvin. Melvin. Don't say what, Brenda. I love you so much. I love you so much.
What have I done? How did I get here? How? I don't think your daddy will ever forgive me. Baby, I let my anger get a better hold of me. I forgot the love we all shared. I'm sorry. Mommy messed up. Mommy messed up. My son, my first fruit, I miss you. Mommy misses you, my son, my son. Malik, why are you not at the office? Wait, what? Mina has put to bed? <laughs> wow, this, this is great news. You, man, you are a father now. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I, I can't wait to tell everyone at the office. Congratulations. This is, this is the best news ever, man. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Congrats again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Malik. Malik is a father now. <laughs> oh. <sighs> talking to me now? I miss you. I miss us. Babe, I am so sorry for what happened to our son. If I knew his condition was that critical, I, I wouldn't have... It, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's all in the past now. I'm sorry I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. Is that why your face is like that? No. You're my wife. And it's okay for us to have misunderstandings. I hold no grudge against you. I'll be the best husband for you. Okay? Come here.
Ben, I am happy you and your wife are in good times again. You have no idea. Bro, I missed my wife so much. <laughs> I know, I know. I am, I am glad everything is gradually falling back in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I need to get home early today because I promised Brenda that I'll be back home on time. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Just um. I should drop you over. Yeah. Huh, my G. <laughs> All right. Man, you don't know how happy I am. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. It's okay. Get out of my house. Melvin, I said leave my house. Listen. Listen. Whatever happened between us was a mistake. I can't continue living like this. Mistake? Did you just say mistake? Brenda. You were happy. I made you happy and you know it. Look. I know you bought it with goods. But you don't have to. You're going to divorce him anyways. I love you. I love you so much, Brenda. Melvin, you need to leave before Jeremy comes home. You should leave. Don't you get it? Why are you doing this to me? Why? I love you and you know it. You know I love you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you beside me. Stop. Don't do that. Brenda. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't feel anything for me. Look at my eyes, Brenda. I love you so much. Okay? Do you want to get yourself killed? Why would you be crossing the road like that? Huh? Him. Look, I promise you that after your divorce, I will get married to you and you'll be mine forever, mine alone. Come on, another look. You don't have to feel guilty, okay? After all, we both love each other, and that's all that matters. Hmm? <laughs> I'll kill you! 
I will kill you today. She doesn't love you anymore. She loves me now. You kill the holy child. You should just go. Baby, get out! Get him out! I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Man will always be man. They are never satisfied with a woman. No matter how, no matter how attractive they look, they can never, never. Come. He has come. No faithful man out there. They are the same. No single faithful man out there. I trusted him. I gave him my all. But what did he do? He cheated on me with his best friend. Man. Men are the same. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere, everywhere. Men are the same. And they will never change. That is how women are. Always playing the victim. There are no faithful women out there. They are all broad daylight cheats. Mm. A woman will never cheat on her partner. You know why? Because they understand the value of a relationship. And there she goes. Women, women. That is one thing about them. They uphold the value of relationship in their hearts. But cheat at every slightest opportunity. One would think they are holy, but behind closed doors, they do the unthinkable. Show me one cheating woman. And I will show you hundreds, millions of cheating men. My wife on a matrimonial bed. So don't vouch for every woman. Because you don't know what they do behind closed doors or under their husband's roof. If anyone had told me my wife would cheat on me, I would kill that person. But seeing her with him on our bed, I feel worthless as a man already. Same heart broken. Wait, you look familiar. Are you not the same lady I almost ran over earlier? It was you. <sighs> Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking straight. Mm. My boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend.
your wife oh please baby find a place in your heart to forgive me I am truly sorry I don't know what came over me I let anger get a better hold of me I didn't mean to disappoint you baby I am sorry Find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Breakfast. I am not hungry. Jeremy, please don't do this. I spoke with attorney Edwin last night. I'm getting a divorce. When 
when temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. Your wife? I can't believe this. I, I mean, she loves you. I thought so too. Until I saw them together. Malik, I saw my wife sleeping with another man on our matrimonial bed. Could this be her, her own way of getting back at you? Getting back at me? She can choose not to talk to me for the rest of her life. That I will accept because I love her regardless and her pain is justified. But sleeping with another man? Just, just think about it. That is way out of line. Besides, what happened in the past was never my fault. So, what are you going to do now? I'm divorcing her. Yeah. Your wife? Some girl I met yesterday. Listen, Jeremy. I understand your pain. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Okay? I understand your pain, everything. But you shouldn't do this because your wife cheated on you. Can we stop talking about my wife? Can we stop? Two wrongs can never make right. Stop! You sounded worried. Are you okay? Huh? I'm not. Why are you crying? Is it because of your boyfriend? Come on, he, he's not worth it. He's, he, he, he's not worth your tears. I miss him so much. I don't think I can live without him. Yes, you can. There are so many men out there. No, I can't. I'm missing him. Yes, you can. And I will help you with that. Okay? I'm not going to leave you. I don't want you to give him the satisfaction of, uh, of him seeing you suffer and grovel over his irresponsible act. I want you to prove to him that you can live without him. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay. You know what? Why don't we do something fun? Something to distract us from getting hurt. Honestly, I don't even know how to appreciate you. Come on. Who would ever thought a total stranger would be showing me so much care? It's fine. Okay? So tell me, what would you do for fun? For fun? Nothing. I'm just an ordinary girl who who does nothing? Hmm. Okay, um...
Hey, come on. The gates man is our friend. Your friend and my friend. So why are you asking that? <laughs> Honestly, it's been long guy. I visited the cinema. Yeah, the cinema. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same here. Work and marriage issues wouldn't allow me. Really? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind going to see a movie soon. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. How about we do that tomorrow? tomorrow. Are you busy? Okay, fine. Good game, right? Yeah, game. <laughs> That's good. Okay, uh, shall we? Yeah, we shall. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> it's been a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs>
Yes, I am home now. Honestly, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for today. It's been long I had this kind of fun. You're welcome. If you're free, we can hang out tonight. Um, are you by any means trying to ask me out? <laughs> Come on. Look, I enjoy your company. <sighs> okay. Okay. Tonight then. But all these on you. It's not a problem. I got you. I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. Okay, take care. Bye. See you later.
Yes, attorney, I am still pushing through with annulment. No, I have already made up my mind. Okay, thank you. I'll be expecting the papers. You've been really quiet. That's unlike you. Nothing. I'm fine. Come on. Talk to me. I think we should stop seeing each other. Did I do anything wrong? No, you didn't. I... I just want us to stop seeing each other because being friends with you is really difficult. I'm already falling in love with you. I, I don't want to get hurt. You're still married to your wife. And I don't want to snatch another person's husband. Brenda. I have to take my leave. I, uh, please. Wait. You don't have to stay away from me. I feel the same way about you.
Fine. You have five minutes. Thank you. Your time starts now. Are you happy, Brenda? Are you? Is it treating you right? Look, Brenda. I still love you. I really do. You have time to make the right decision before it's too late. What do you mean? I'll be going back to Canada by weekend. Jeremy and I are working out our marriage. We are trying. Okay. It's fine. Oh. I was just just leave. Did you know, I was I was hoping you'd pick me over him. But I'm so sorry for hoping. Melvin. I am sorry if in any way I led you on. Honestly, you deserve someone that would love you unconditionally. A good woman. Where have you been? I called you countless times. Attorney Edwin said you are still pushing through with the annulment. Yes. Why? Maybe I thought we were doing okay. I, I thought you were forgiving me. We've moved past this. Why? The fact that we had sex does not mean I have forgotten what you did. She brought another man into our matrimonial bed. This bed. And you expect me to forgive you? Are you serious? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I, I, I apologized. Excuse me. Jeremy, I said I'm sorry.
Slow down, slow down. Where are you? Which hospital? Okay, I'm on my way, okay? What is it? My colleague, his, his son was rushed to the hospital. I have to go. I'm coming with you. Okay. Why is your face like this? The boy is fine. Seeing Malik show support to his wife at this trying time made me realize how much I have failed as a husband and a father. How do you mean? I once had a son. Really? Oh my word. So what happened to him? He died because of my negligence. I paid more attention to my job. Seeing Malik care for his son made me realize how much I have missed my Kelvin. Brenda blamed me for his death. Up until now, I, I thought it wasn't my fault. But it is actually my fault. I killed my own son. Brenda will never forgive me for that. It's okay. I'm really, really sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Can you go home from here? Why? I need to speak with my wife. I just realized the pain she went through, not having me by her side. Come on. It's all in the past now. You still love your wife? Jeremy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if I should get mad at you. But I'm happy. You lifted a heavy weight off my shoulder. 
Are you following me around now? I suspected you. So I decided to follow you. And you proved me right. Jeremy, this marriage is over. I don't think I can ever get my husband back. Brenda, I am ready to fix our marriage. I am willing to give us a second chance. Do you love her? How I feel does not matter. Okay? Let's put this behind us. We're even now. Let's fix us. We're even now. That's the reason I'm not slapping you in your face. Good day. Um, attorney, can you please suspend the annulment for now? I want to give my wife a second chance. I want to fix my marriage. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yes, come in. How did you get in here and what are you doing here? Stop! Hey, this this is my workplace. Okay, we we can't do this. Peace. Just Peace. stop. Stop. Oh my God! Stop. My, my boss can just walk. Let him walk. You're yeah. not listening. Excuse me. Hello. You're looking for someone? Yes, I'm here to see you. To see me? Who are you? My name is Brenda. Brenda Detunji. <laughs> you are the wife. You're the mistress. Not for too long. Was that what he told you? Do you really think Jeremy will leave me for you? He already did, you dumb squall. 
he already did. What were you thinking? When you're going about opening your legs, spreading your legs wide for all Dick, Tom and Harry to penetrate. What were you thinking? He already did. Son, just in a few days, your husband will be mine. He now loves me silly. You know why? Because I give him love. I give him happiness. I give him joy. All that you couldn't give him and more. Yes, I did all that for him. So what were you thinking? What did you give him? Spreading your legs wide. Allowing all men to penetrate. That was what you gave him. So he has moved on. You think he will be there looking at your ugly ass? Yeah. <laughs> he is now mine. And what's that look for? You want to fight me? You want to fight me? Don't even go there because you will not like the outcome. I can see you're Raz. Very Raz. But on the contrary, I'm not here to fight you. You're beautiful. But you're daft too. I love my husband. And I'm very sure my husband loves me too. I will stand by my husband to you forever and one.
Malik, I am so confused. I don't, I don't know what to do. How did we get here? How? I, doing this with peace, it's like I'm, I'm fighting my soul. Something in me is not allowing me to give her my all. I love my wife with everything I am made of. She's my backbone, my support system. She's my happiness. Like, if I am down, she lights me up. She's always making sure that I am on the right path, bro. Always. She's always there for me. How I wish I could... I could turn the hands of time. I will right my wrongs. I will never neglect my family. I will be there for my wife. My son. My son. Because of that stupid job, I neglected my family. I killed my own son. Now she's angry at me. Malika need my wife back. I can't do this without her. She's my soulmate. She. Brenda, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. We expected a baby. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Oh my God. <laughs> We're expecting another child. So, wait. A baby is growing inside of you. Our child, my child, <laughs> this, this calls for celebration. This is the best news ever. <laughs> oh my God, wow. Wow. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Maybe. What? What is it? Yours or Melvin's? I'm not sure about the father of the child. The child. I'm not sure.
You're four weeks pregnant. Yes, I'm four weeks pregnant. You are the father. What did you say? We're having another child. I'm the father? Yes, baby. I am the father? Yes. I am the father! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> oh my god! Why did you do that? We're having another baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, baby. We need to top this up. We need to top it up. We need to top it up. <laughs> Bye, man. <laughs> Honestly, I am happy for you. Like, like I am happy for you. You're, you're back with your wife, mm -hmm. and you were expecting a child. Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. My wife. Oh, I love her so much. I know. You know, this is my second chance, and I won't blow it up. My wife and my child will be my utmost priority. Definitely. Most definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jeremy, you have been through a lot and mm. I think you deserve all the happiness. I truly deserve all the happiness. <laughs> you know, we have put the past behind us and I have found my new comfort zone. My wife and unborn child. <laughs> oh. 
That's good. That's good. That, uh, um. Sorry. What about peace? Yeah, peace. I. I've been avoiding her calls. I, I, I don't want to face her. I promised my wife I would cut off everything I have with her. It's okay. It's okay, but listen. I think you should call her, sit her down and talk to her, right? You shouldn't leave her hanging like that. Hmm. Oh, peace. She's actually a good woman. I, I didn't mean to hurt her. Yes, I understand everything. Well, I am happy for you. I am happy for you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must tell you. What? You have to celebrate this. It's cause for celebration. On you? Of course, behind my pocket. Of me, man. Benjamin, man. Mula. Mula. Everything. <laughs> He's a beautiful thing, but just like the say, love is not enough. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears, what's going on? You stopped taking my calls. Are you avoiding me? I, uh, I, I love my wife. So you made a fool out of me? You think you can use and dump me? Peace. Is that what you feel? Peace, can you calm down and hear me out? Hear you out? When you've been going on dates with your wife? What do you want me to hear? Not talk to me. Can you stop? Just stop this. Stop. When you said you love me, did you mean it? Answer me! I meant it. I, I, I did. But I, I realized how much my wife means to me. I can't leave her. She's been with me through thick and thin. Oh, really? Like, you are trying to choose over me? I thought you said you love me and that I make you happy. Please, so what's going on? Please stop. Stop what? I have to go.
Jeremy, are you sure going away is the right thing to do? Yes, with all the things happening, going away is the best. I spoke with my wife and she seems cool with us relocating to Abuja. Go. What about your job? Yeah, I'm working on my transfer, you know. I spoke with Mr. Anderson and he assured me I was going to retain my job at the branch in Abuja. We have to leave as soon as possible. Ah, but that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, honestly, I'll miss you, man. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Let's, let's keep in touch. Sure, sure. You see, honestly, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but I would say whatever happens, always handle it with wisdom and be diplomatic sure family first family first thank you so much man thank you I am not here to fight. Neither did I come to make war. I have come to say a final goodbye. Brenda, you're a woman of virtue. And trust me, I admire your strength. You caught your husband cheating. Yet, you forgive him. Not every woman will do that. Jeremy, you are also a strong man. You caught your wife having sex with another man. Yet, you forgive her. Not all men will do the same. And that's why I've come to say sorry for ever troubling this family. Your bond is strong. Your love is strong. Each time I try fighting this love, it kept bouncing back at me. And I have vowed never to disturb you both again. Jeremy, as for the pregnancy, I lost it. And only God knows why. Life, they say, is a teacher. You either win or you learn. And trust me, I have learned my lessons. I have really, really learned. And I promise never to disturb you both again. And I'm here to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Here you are. What are you staring at? Nothing. I was just thinking about all we've been through this past few months. That is why we deserve a happily ever after. <laughs> that only happens in Disney movies. That is not true. If we live here, we will be happy again. Start afresh. Everything is set. The day after tomorrow. I missed you. I miss us. I miss us too. And I miss you more. I will have to go to the office tomorrow to sort some things out. Forever and again, I will love you. Finally, love, peace, and harmony returns to my home. I have learned my lessons. It is my family first. Forever and another, I will love my family. Family, the smallest unit of the society, yet the most complex of them all. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together. It's a success. When the storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. When temptation comes, when storm of life appears, it takes more than love to keep holding together. It takes more than love to keep holding together. Love is a beautiful thing, but just like Just like the say, love is not enough. Love is a beautiful thing, but just like the say, love is not enough. When temptation comes, when the storm of life appears. 